Hey, what's up? Robin Crin here. Welcome to Threadheads. Since you liked last week's episode on AFDB so much, we decided to do a part two. Just kidding. We're here at the Maker Fair. Woohoo! We just landed in this mega complex of everything craft. Let's see who we could talk to. What do we have here? Well, this is the Aphrodite Project, and it's inspired by a hack that prostitutes did to their shoes in ancient Greece. This is a video screen. It's really easy to, to get this in here. This is a material called Shape Lock, which you just heat up in hot water, like 130 degrees. It becomes really malleable. We did this version of the shoe, which had GPS. Uh, the GPS sent out a signal that you could read on a Google map. So it's kind of like James Bond meets like DIY crafting. I watch Threadbanger and it f***ing rocks. <laughs> My name is Michael Swain. This is the Free Mending Library. It actually started as just me building this cart that looks like an ice cream vending cart. First I actually pushed the cart, it was probably like four miles through the city, and I would stop and mend things for people. Now I set up on the 15th of every month, and in this one little alley, I can go anywhere in the neighborhood and they'll be like, oh, the sewing guy. You want to buy a poem? What do you want a poem about? Will you write us a poem about do-it-yourself fashion? I can dress myself and occasionally the economic optimy path fashionable repression is one way to make a different piece of fabric as the first tree that Adam and Eve hide behind. Be a prick. Share your favorite shows with all your friends and help spread the love. My name is Wendy Tremaine and I created Swaparama Rama. It began in October of 2005 in New York City and to my own shock it grew and is now in 50 cities in five countries. Basically what people do at Swaparama Rama is they come with any size bag of unwanted clothes and that becomes the resource for the whole event's creativity. And as you'll see these tables are loaded with used clothes. So it uh, looks like you found something really cool. Who knows, it could become a picnic set or earrings or um, maybe a car seat. Do you have any ideas on what you're gonna make today? Well, this shirt, for instance, it's way, way, way too big for me. So I can cut out the sides and I stitch it together and uh, instant shirt. I love it. My friend got that pink coat and she's transformed from a goth into a hippie raver in just a few seconds. Once someone finds the garments that they're excited about, they have a lot of options. And here against this wall is Bay Area designers and hobbyist sewers who are here to help you transform old clothes into new. This is the first thing I've ever sewn. Another way that people can transform their garments here, a very simple, almost magical way, is silk screening. And what's kind of amazing about that is with one swoop, something that was about to be trash is now like completely amazing. We're screen printing in the Swaparama room where you can bring any piece of clothing or anything you're wearing or picking up on the tables and we'll print on your clothes for you. In every city, of course, the artists are whoever's local. So this changes depending on where you are in the world. So we've gone to scrap and thrift stores and taken apart games that are missing pieces and tinker toys and all sorts of just random fun stuff that kind of bring you back to the day of your youth. And people are all jazzed to make items using basic jewelry techniques. Fashion, f the fashion industry for perpetuating this need for newness amidst this huge surplus, and f you for taking away our creativity. Really, I think the maker today is the revolutionary because we have to come back from this dead commodified culture, and the only way to do it is to be a maker.
my god, we ran in the Brie Pettis. He's here. Ladies and gentlemen, youngsters and oldsters, presenting the second annual Bay Area Maker Fair. And now uh, you got another one coming up. This, is, this isn't the end. No, if you didn't make it or you just can't get enough, come on to Austin. There's a really awesome maker community there, and we're going to have another really great maker fair. Fantastic. October. From the Maker's Fair, Rob Kroon's over there behind the camera. We're out of here. See ya. Wave. Bye. Bye.